What's up guys, thanks for joining me in today's video. What we've got going on is the Goblin flavor we're taking on with Irish Spikes Unique Hot Sauces. If you're not familiar with who Irish Spikes line is, the website's gonna be popping up here. And if you're too lazy to type it up, go down in the description box and check it out down there as well. Irish Spike is going to be your new main source for unique hot sauces, I guarantee you, and your taste buds will definitely thank you later. It's got a list of ingredients that are out of this world, wow. and the flavor are just, yeah, never duplicated. It's quite interesting. So what we've got are five sauces that we're going to be taking on. It's going to be a two-part video due to the fact that I've got ten sauces from them. So we're starting off with the lower spectrum of the heat level. It goes from a ketchup, we've got a huckleberry mustard hot sauce. How interesting does that sound? You don't hear that a lot. Um, we've got a happy taco. I like that name. That's the name I gave my girlfriend's. And then we've got special occasion. I like the word play on that, which is a Louisiana style. Then you've got red flower, which is a Korean style sriracha. That sounds interesting as well. I'm hot sauce, Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Sauce number one, what we've got going on is fun guys catch up. A party in the party until the fun guy shows up. And this definitely does it. They'll definitely have your taste buds jumping around. It's gonna be like a party in your mouth. There's so much flavor going on. And the best part about it, it's not like you're boring Heinz. Check it out. All right, so the ingredients, I'll read them off to you. We've got tomato sauce as the first ingredient. You've also got red peppers, roasted red peppers. You've got white vinegar. You've got sugar, lemon juice, water, red wine vinegar, porcini powder. Oil, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, cinnamon, thyme, allspice, clove, paprika. And it's a cayenne base, so it's not much heat with it, but by the sounds of it, you're going to have a shit ton of flavor as well. I used this on a brat when I was grilling out the other day. I was just like mind blown from all the flavor that it was giving out. Check it out. Nice little consistency. Let's take a photo for the thumbnail. All right, let's give it a go. First flavor you get up front, some tomatoes, of course. Then you get the black pepper. Not much heat from the cayenne. It's a nice, enjoyable flavor. Not very much heat to it. It's like a sauce that anybody can enjoy for real. And the best part about it, it's not as sweet as like oh, your typical Heinz ketchup as well. I definitely dig it. Use it again for sure. Heat wise, I'd rate it pretty, pretty low. It's like a one or a zero, if anything. Let's go to sauce number two. And what we've got here is a huckleberry classic huckleberry mustard hot sauce which is definitely not a common combination sounds pretty interesting um let's read off the ingredients and see what this is all about so you've got white vinegar as the first ingredient apple cider vinegar sugar huckleberry juice blueberry juice garlic crushed red pepper salt lemon tomato paste mustard powder black pepper onion cayenne turmeric arrowroot basil and thyme these ingredients just get better and better as we keep going up the uh, the gauntlet of flavor. All right, so let's check this bad boy out. So check that out. I love the color. It has some texture to it, too. Hope you guys get a good glance at it. Let's give it a taste. That's like a sweet mustard. Not the flight your typical mustard, but you get that flavor from the huckleberry, you get the flavor from the blueberries, then you get the tartness from the vinegar. And then, yeah, you get the mustard seeds will make it taste like an actual mustard. This would definitely pair well, I could tell with some burgers, anything on the grill at that, even chicken. I am impressed by this one. Awesome job, Spike. Heat wise, definitely not up there with like the higher super hots it's more like the mild side is chill i would say it's more like a medium to mild not overly hot it's not going to ruin anything but the flavor is phenomenal all right gotta wash the palate down start all over here we go all right sauce number three what we got is happy taco yeah, I love this name. I don't know what it is, but don't we all just love a happy taco? I'm pretty sure you guys do. All right, so it says it's on the heat index of medium. Check it out. Well, let's go ahead and read the ingredients before we go any further. All right, so we got white vinegar, tomato sauce. We've got carrots. We've got, oh, I'm sorry. We've got carrot juice, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, salt, sugar, chili de arbol, 
brown sugar, cayenne, arrowroot, mustard powder, onion powder, garlic powder, citric acid, black pepper, cumin, oregano, and smoked paprika. I can dig that. Sounds like a good old taco sauce for sure. Especially with the chili herbal. That's a good pepper. Nice taco color. Nice runny texture. There we go. Let's get a close up. Can you see it? If you could only taste it. Let's give it a go. It's got that smokiness up front. The chili herbal really sticks out. Great flavor. Heat wise, still on the mild to medium, nothing overwhelming. Flavor forward up front. That would definitely bring my Taco Bell to life. If you're looking to do any resurrection, even on your Chipotle, definitely bring this bad boy along. Shit, even on a taco pizza, that would be pretty badass as a base. I might keep that in mind for a future video. Next one up is called Special Occasion. Definitely dig the wordplay on this one. Check it out. It's Louisiana style uh, hot sauce. Read off the ingredients. So we've got white vinegar, sugar, lemon juice, cayenne, salt, fish sauce, which contains anchovies and salt, crushed red pepper, paprika, minced garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, arrowroot, thyme, black pepper, oregano, and xanthan gum. All natural ingredients so far. I'm digging this. All right, let's give it a go. With this being a Louisiana style, it's probably going to be like pepper forward up front. Check that out. Got some nice texture to it. Probably gonna have some tang. Let's give it a go. Very different flavor on that one. It's like all over the place. You get layers from the ingredients, but it's like you get a little bit of everything. It's hard to pinpoint what's coming at you first. Get the flavor up front with a little heat. Nothing overwhelming. It's like a little zing in the back end. But I was expecting more flavor from the vinegar. With it being of Louisiana style, most of their down south sauces are vinegar forward. Dig the flavor. It's different. Dig the heat. It's enjoyable. Flavor wise, it's not big to my standards. I'm not a big fan of it, but hey, everybody's different to each his own. Um, next one we've got up is the Red Flower, the Korean style sriracha. Let's give that one a go. Shake this bad boy up. Um, let's see what we've got in the ingredients list. Oh, this is a long one. Uh, we got white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, sugar, soy, lemon, garlic, uh, Korean chili flakes, tomato paste. We've got salt, arrowroot, onion, ginger powder, toasted sesame seeds, tahini, black pepper, turmeric, sesame oil, cayenne, and xanthan gum. That's a long, long list. All right. Let's give it a go. Yeah, she's got some nice texture to it. Check her out. All right. It's not like your typical sriracha flavor. It's not sweet as well. It's a little bit hotter than your typical sriracha. This might be my new favorite style of sriracha. It's not like the rooster one is very sweet to me. I'm not a big fan of sriracha due to that fact. Definitely use that on some Asian style dishes. I was impressed by all of them, except for, of course, the Louisiana style was not my type, but it is what it is. So I would rate this one as my least favorite. My most favorite is definitely going to be this mustard sauce. It's very unique with flavor, different layers, hitting your taste buds all at once. Your mouth is definitely going to enjoy it. Um, next one would be the fungi ketchup. This has got me on the brink, so started like ketchup again. Like I said, it's not your typical Heinz. Definitely full of flavor. Not as sweet and salty as your typical ketchup as well. It's got a nice little zing to it. Nothing that's going to uh, ruin anything. Um, next would be the Korean sriracha. Liked it. Not too sweet. Not what I was expecting as well. Definitely uh, caught me off guard with the flavor. Then my fourth favorite would be Happy Taco. Just all in all reminds me of just like a typical uh, taco sauce. Guys, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date of when part two drops. And hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with further videos. Until then, I'm Hot Sauce Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Later.